Haig, YouTube with your girl from Down Under. I just wanted to update on my seminar that I went to yesterday. Um, it was really good. I found some really good information on it, uh, on the lap band. Um, I met the surgeon. He seems like a really nice guy. I didn't want to get it by him to start with because I didn't think he was as qualified as the ones up in Sydney. But I realised yesterday as, as when I was listening to him, he knows, he knows his stuff. He knows what he's doing. Um, you all know that I have a consultation booked for the 5th of September, which is next Friday, with um, Dr. Talbot, which was my preferred doctor, um, apart from Dr. Jorgensen, which didn't end up happening. Um, and I know I knew that I had to go to the seminar before I um, went to consultation. So I booked the seminar yesterday and I went and it was really good. And they gave me this booklet. It's like a folder and it's got all this information. It's got his business card on it. Um, it's got um, two pamphlets, one on the actual hospital that I went to, which is Pro Hospital, and one on the lap band. And it's got a massive diagram on the lap band. And then it's got all this information inside. Um, on the lap band, on what it is, on statistics about it, um, adjustments and references to where they got all this information from, and then just general information about the lap band just there. Yeah, just like um, warning. Um, indications, um, important information, um, so that you have to see a doctor before you make a final decision. Um, there's, there's a few questionnaires that were given out, but that's more like about stuff about um, how to get to the seminar, how to find out about it, um, how would you rate the content of the seminar. Um, have you attended others? Which sites have you used to research the internet? Um, why does the lap band attract you? Stuff like that. So it was really good. I found it really, really, really good thing. If you're thinking of making a lap, lap band, go to a seminar. It's a re you get really good information from it, um, and you might even meet your future surgeon. I think I'm going to go with Dr. Budak. I think that he is right for me and even though to begin with I really didn't want to go to him because I didn't think he was as um, as good as Dr. Talbot just because I thought they were different qualifications he was um, he's up in Sydney and Dr. Black's down here um, I just thought they might be different, but they were trained together, so I know that they don't have that much different information. So if I went to his seminar or Dr. Burak's seminar, I probably wouldn't have found, would have found out the same stuff. I'll probably be told the same thing when I go to Dr. Talbot. Um, but I thought, okay, I'm going to book a seminar with Dr. Burak. I'm thinking because. I had to wait three to four weeks to go to um see the, to have the sem to have the consultation uh to have the consultation with Dr. Talbot. I thought any money Dr. Budak's gonna take the same amount of time to get a booking. So my dad called up today. He asked for a booking. When I got home from school, he called me into his um, study office area. There he goes, Olivia. Because he didn't know whether he had the Friday off um, for the Dr. Talbot seminar. He goes, Olivia, I got your fri the Friday the 5th off. Um, so we can go to that consultation, which is Friday at 2 o'clock. And your 
consultation with Dr. Burak is on the 2nd of September. I was like, what? 2nd of September? I thought it was going to be like 22nd of September. He's like, no, it's on the 2nd of September. I'm like, wow. Is this that quick to get a consultation with him? How quick is it going to be to get a surgery date? Oh my god, I was, j I was over the moon. I was so happy. I went to work happy. I had a really good time at work. I work in the kitchen. Um, I'm a caterer's assistant. And I also work at Woolworth. Um, but I was so happy. Was, uh, had a good time at work. Was really, um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited about, um, going to the consultation. It's a day after Harriet gets her lap band. So excited for you, sweetie. Um, uh, it's the day after Harriet gets her lap band, so I'll be talking to her about that. Um, and then I've got the other one three days after. So, I really, I just cannot wait to have this ball rolling, have my surgery right, and then you have to wait till I get um, the surgery done and then I can start my road to weight loss. Um, I'm hoping to get down to, I know it's probably wishful thinking, but I'm going to try my hardest. I'm going to, I've got the personal trainer as I told you in the previous video. Um, I'm going to try to get down to at least 70 kilos around 70 kilos or 65 kilos and if my calculations are right that's about a loss of 70 kilos so that's, yeah, that's a loss of 65 kilos so that's a lot of weight to lose and I, I'm I'm really excited about doing this about I can't wait to have energy, I can't wait to be able to run, be able to walk long distances without feeling out of breath, I just really can't wait. The worst thing about being fat is not being able to have as much energy and be able to run around with all your friends. Um, I'm going to just quick shout out to Harriet. Quick shout out to the City Doll. Stay strong, girl. You know that he's not worth it if he's blowing you off. Um, what is it? Shout out to Lady Blue. Shout out to everyone on YouTube. Uh, there's so many of you. I wouldn't know how to pick any all of you. So, um, and thank you, Dot, for from Dal for giving me a whole lot of information, um, thank you, uh, Di, from West Australia, who's now in India, that replied to my message, thanks for that, it was a really good information, um, but that's about it, I'll let you go back to whatever you were doing before, and have a nice day, whatever time it is there, quarter past eleven here, <laughs> <at> p.m., <laughs> so see you later and have a nice day. Bye. Much love to everyone.